We check what's trending on 710KURV Twitter and Facebook from Fox News. The Daily Report from Carly Shimkus with some breaking news, I understand. Oh. What you got, Carly? Oh, I have breaking beaver news. Oh, no. <laughs> I oh, do. no. I do. Really? Justin Bieber has shut down his Instagram profile. Thank you, Jesus. Finally, oh, our God, prayers have been answered. He's gone. We won't have to see his <laughs> ugly mug ever again, right? He's gone. He's gone. Well, let's see how long this lasts. Who yeah. knows? Uh, do you want yeah, the backstory, or do you want me yeah, to Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, what okay, we, well, let's get the backstory. So he recently posted some pictures with his uh, new girlfriend, Sophia Ritchie, uh, Lionel Ritchie's daughter, actually. Oh. Uh, yeah, but uh, people criticize the pictures, you know, the usual online stuff. So he threatened to shut down his account. He just uh -huh. threatened it. Now, his ex-girlfriend, Selena Gomez, we all know and love her, mm -hmm. she responded to that threat writing something like, if you don't like what people are saying about the posts, don't post pictures with your new girlfriend. <laughs> well, he has now done it, and Belieber fans everywhere are mourning the loss. No! Yes. <laughs> so his, yeah. uh, his but like you say, for there, how long? Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. We'll, I'm sure he'll be coming back in... Uh, in a little bit. In He's a just taking a stand. Yeah, we could probably put a countdown clock on that one. Anybody? Uh, <laughs> let, let's take a let's make a, a, a pool Ooh, a bets all right, here. Let's Let, do it. Let's see. I, I'd say by the end of today. And yeah, <laughs> I'm not even going to leave it behind in my uh, overnight reports because I'm sure it's going <laughs> to. We'll be talking <laughs> about. It. He's back tomorrow morning. Does He's Selena back, Gomez you. have a picture of a new boyfriend that she can post? <laughs> Oh yeah, do a little a little rivalry there. I yeah. I say his profile will be back by eight p.m. tonight. Okay, all right. Hey, hey, Carly says eight p.m. Mm -hmm. I say, oh, you know what? I'm gonna say early. I'm gonna say this afternoon before the afternoon drive. I'll say four p.m. and uh, we'll, we'll see who wins the pool. Uh, for okay, let's see. I don't know that. what the prize is, but we'll just we'll, <laughs> we'll do it for funsies. Uh, let's see here. Rio Olympics and social media angry about the balance beam final. What happened? Ooh. All right, so uh, gymnast Lori Hernandez won silver uh, in the individual beam final, but a lot of people online saying she was robbed of the top spot because her routine was nearly perfect. Her coach even filed this inquiry uh, with the judges to make sure that they didn't make a mistake on her scoring. Well, that request was rejected, so this uh, Dutch gymnast took home the top spot. Folks online really upset about this. One woman taking a bit of a dramatic approach, tweeting, When I die, put Lori Hernandez was robbed on my tombstone. <laughs> <laughs> uh, also, uh, Simone Biles came in third place. That surprised a lot of people. She uh, slipped. She will no longer be able to uh, receive yeah, those so. five straight goals that everybody was hoping she'd be able to achieve. But she took to Twitter saying that, you know, people at home might be a little bit more upset about it than her. She said, listen, first Olympics, four Olympic medals, three gold, one bronze. Yeah. Are you guys okay out there? Because I'm more than happy. That's so, not a bad haul. Yeah. Exactly. Also, just really quickly, a lot of people upset, similar to the whole uh, Lori Hernandez situation, a lot of people are upset with how the women's 400-meter meter, meter final went oh, down. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yes. So, did you guys see it? So, yes, we just saw the video moments yeah, ago. Shawnee yeah, Shawnee Miller from the Bahamas dove over the finish line. That's how she won. She beat American Allison Felix. A lot of people saying that the practice, it's legal, but a lot of people yeah. saying it just doesn't seem fair. Yeah, well, I, I, I have to say, in her defense, uh, we saw the video. Uh, I did notice that uh, Ms. Miller uh, was winning towards the end, although I forget, what was the American's name? Um, Allison Felix. Uh, Ms. Felix was catching up, and it looked like Ms. Felix was going to win in just the, uh, the final second. Uh, and I and guess you gotta uh, do what you got to do. Miss Miller, she just ran out of gas or was desperate. She just <laughs> threw herself. Yeah, I know. To, the line. to me, it just. I, I when I saw it, my original reaction was, "Man, is that is that legal? Mm -hmm. Can you really just launch your body over over the finish line?" But you're right. That's how badly she wanted it. So yeah. It apparently is fair and. More power to both of them. They're both winners. So long as this doesn't start a new trend where everybody's <laughs> lunging towards the, uh, the finish line. Let's exactly. uh, scratch and scrapes. Uh, let's finish up with Mom's Facebook plea that has gone viral. All right. Ask and you shall receive. A Utah mother recently took to Facebook with a special request telling her followers that her daughter, who has autism, has an all-time favorite article of clothing. It's this uh, bright pink shirt with a floral design. But the woman said her daughter has loved it so much, she's had to replace it four times, and she can no longer find it online. It's like a, a bit of a comfort to her daughter. Mm -hmm. So she turned to Facebook for help, hoping that, you know, she could buy the shirt from off of somebody. Well, her request went viral. The woman says that she has been sent 78 shirts. Wow. 
Isn't that fantastic? So, People even offering yeah. to turn the fabric into teddy bears and blankets for the little girl, the woman saying, oh, man, I thank you so much, everybody, for your yeah, kindness. Absolutely. Yeah, saying God bless you all. That's very nice. So uh, this just in, uh, Shawnee Miller has been named uh, for the Bahamas swim team. Uh, will be part of the diving competition oh, uh, in, in the next four years. All right. <laughs> and she can also do the long jump. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> Carly, thank you. Carly Shimkis from Fox News with what's trending on 710KURV Twitter and Facebook. And check out the 710KURV app.